The man accused of trying to kidnap a three year old girl from an Auburn park over the weekend made his first court appearance today. 26 year old Janelle Hernandez Velasco pleaded not guilty to felony kidnapping and assault with a deadly weapon. He will be back in court next week. We are fighting for ourselves and we are standing up for our community. His attack sounding alarms in the Auburn community and sparking a new push to fight back. Tonight, a group of women are banding together to protect their families. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood was there as the ladies learned how to defend themselves. Angela? Tony and Christina, the community tells us this training was urgent and very necessary. There is, of course, a lot of fear and concern following this attempted kidnapping. And the women who took part in the training tonight say they will not become victims. Fired off, okay? Just do it. Why would we wait? There you go. He's trying to take your kid. That's like waiting to put your seatbelt on. Yeah. There you go. They're not pulling any punches. We go, uh uh, I'm going to punch him. They're packing them. I'm going to hit him and eliminate the threat. More than a dozen Auburn women arming themselves with self defense tools okay. and training. We are here to teach you to be prepared and not scared. Ready to fight for their children and their city. My immediate thought was, what would I do if I was with my grandchildren? Just four days ago, the community was shaken after the attempted kidnapping of a three year old girl at Regional Park. The very next day, Betsy Bender with the North Auburn Neighborhood Watch Group. So I'm going to go over our pepper sprays. Organize the self defense class. I want to make sure I'm as prepared as I can be. Let's get them educated, equipped, and empowered, and that's what we do. Lori Osmond with Damsel in Defense ran the training course. I want you to think about how you stand and how you walk. Teaching women to be aware of their surroundings, how to talk to their children about dangerous situations. It comes in black. I teach women to charge in. And how to fight for their lives. And teach women how to be aggressive. A lot of women do not know how to be aggressive. Some ladies left with new protection, like this mother who says she came for her baby. Hopefully I'll never have to use it. We have to take our responsibility for our lives. We have to be prepared. An attempted kidnapping inspiring a community to stand up and stay safe. This really, really hurts. And again, the suspected kidnapper was arraigned in court today and his bail revoked by the judge who said he is considered a threat to the community. And as for these self-defense training organizers say, there will be more of them in the future. And as you heard from them, mm -hmm. they just feel like they cannot be prepared enough. Well, I think it's a good wake-up call for so many. Mm -hmm. All right, Angela, thank you.